What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video, and guys, today, we are going over the market as per usual. Before we get into the video, guys, like it up. If you could sub and comment down below, you will enter the 200k MT giveaway. That is, end. I think it's going to end around Tuesday and or Wednesday. And we're going to go over the market. I'm going to go over MT tips to help you guys make lots of MT in this video. So all the subs, man, if you want to make MT, make sure to watch this video. Not only that, I am buying and selling MT. If you guys do need MT, hit me up. The fastest, most reliable service on the internet, guys. Um, pretty much... We're going to go over the market. Before we even get into the market, I'm going to tell you my market tips throughout the week. Because you do, you guys do know we're having Season 3 very soon, guys. 10 days away. We're very close. We're about a week and a half away from Season 3. And that means we're going to make a lot of MT. And I'm not going to miss out this time. I know my MT count isn't low. I have so much stuff to sell. You will see that rise within the next couple days. And right after this, we are, are going to run a stream. So pull up to stream on YouTube probably around 2 Eastern maybe 215 eastern be there guys right on youtube we're gonna either run park or we're actually gonna run the new pink dot and blake that i just picked up anyways let's get into the video um so this is how you're gonna make mt off the season okay i'm gonna go over everything real quick so pretty much if you think about this so they moved the season up it should end it should be 13 days left i believe so they moved it up a couple days so here's why here's what i'm gonna tell you guys how you're gonna make mt so for this week, I'm thinking it's going to be decent content, nothing too crazy. So now, um, let's think about it. So Monday would be nine. So Friday would be five days left in the season, if I'm right. So nine, eight, um, seven, six, five. So that'd be Friday. And then Saturday uh, and then Sunday. So then Monday would be two days left, which means on that Tuesday, they will release some OP super packs with about a day left in the season, okay? So with about a day left in the season, they're going to release the most juice super packs. Every single thing in season two will be in super packs. So now here's what you guys want to do. Pretty much all of your investments, you want to try to sell off before they drop those packs, okay? That's how you're going to make the most MT possible. And I messed up on this. So what happens is pretty much the market crashes like so badly when that happens. So pretty much right now if you guys have your investments i would sell all your investments wednesday thursday even today even monday don't sell on tuesday the market's a little weird on tuesdays monday which is today wednesday thursday sell everything you have friday we could see a mini market crash to make a little more empty don't buy any big players not a good time to buy players unless you want to sell them sunday it's possible you do make some empty and then that tuesday guys you have to have as much MT as possible. Sell your whole dang collection before that Monday. Because before that Monday, most likely every single YouTuber will drop a video. And you guys will lose your MT. So you try, you got to try to sell before Monday, guys. Have to sell your whole squad before. Not this Monday, not today, the next Monday. Because that's what's going to happen. Now, what's going to happen to the market? How are you going to make MT now? Well, I'm going to go over some snipe filters. I'm going to show you how to make MT. And trust me when I say this, we're going to do market talk videos every day to keep you guys updated on what you should sell and whatnot. I'm going to show you some of my investments. I have some investments. I don't know if they're going to work out. Investments are a gamble, but so far they are looking good. I got some Karam Butlers. I got some Tommy G's. I got a lot more Tommy G's. I got Udonis Haslam. I got Durant. I got Corver. And uh, I got Nick. I got a lot of Nick Andersons in my outcomes. I got a couple Clays because all these other Sapphires and stuff, we're kind of just got them for really cheap. And I'm keeping them in my collection just to see if they end up dropping a challenge. So that's the only reason why I have them in my auction. So I'm just keeping like all my sapphires, emeralds, golds. Because they probably will end up in a challenge. And you can make easy MT off of that. Same with my collections. It's another way to make easy MT. I've picked up every gold and above in every collection pretty much. And I'm just holding on my collection. If you wait till 2 a.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. or 11 p.m. Pacific time, they do drop challenges. If the player is in that challenge, you make bank pretty much. If you stay up till 2 a.m., you make bank. If you want to, set an alarm. If you go to bed at 8, wake up at like 158, get on 2K quick, hop on, sell that card. You make bank. If you don't, go right back to bed. But anyways, let's get into some empty methods. Let's get into snipe filters. I'm just trying to give, like, give you a, an as easy 
possible way to make MT, bro. I'm just going over the facts. I know some of you guys do know the facts, some of you don't. But small flower pink diamond, guys, a very, very good filter. Like I said, one of the best snipe filters in the game. Um, it's just the list keeps going on and on. LeBron James, Grant Hill, Dominic Wilkins, John Havlicek. Uh, we got Petrus Djokovic. This this is just amazing filter. You never know what you're getting in these filters. Like I said, man, these filters I show you aren't guaranteed. They're not guaranteed. But here's the thing: if they're not guaranteed, man, it doesn't matter. You just gotta just stay on the filter, man. I know. Here's another tip of our sniping, guys. You want to snipe on content days. The market does not flow on non-content days. I feel like sniping is almost a waste of time. You might sit on a filter for an hour and get nothing. On content days, like let's say they drop the new diamond glitch, like Friday. There was a ton of diamond glitch filters on Friday. If you sat on filter and you sat on diamond glitch on next gen, you probably would have got at least 15 snipes, probably missed a couple. But on content days, you want to pay attention to what they drop in packs and what filters will counteract with those packs. Like I'm saying, like that Ray Allen filter the other day, Pedro Stojagovic filter the other day. Those filters are key. Anything they drop in packs, you want to sit on those filters right now. Packs are Friday. It's a Sunday. A lot of people are watching football. Well, it's on Monday, but people are in school. Filters aren't going to be that hot. Tomorrow's Tuesday. So we're going to have some fire content. Um, going to make a little more market. I'll have a snipe filter video for you tomorrow helping you guys out. Um, Let's think about it a little more, man. Shooting guard pink diamond, another pretty decent filter just to scroll, see what's going on, see if the markets crash and whatnot. And right now, market's not too high. It's not a bad time to cop up. It's not a bad time to sell either, though. It's like all over the place right now. The market's literally like mid right now. It's not high, it's not low, it's right in the middle. It's just decent. You could sell, you could buy. I wouldn't recommend buying ever right now. Big market crash is coming, but not a bad time. Anyways, let's get into my favorite filter in the game right now. Diamond glitch, guys. Trust me. Trust me when I say this. Glitched Zion, glitched Monta Ellis. The list goes on. This is just an amazing filter. You can make bank on this filter. Who knows what you end up getting? I did get a Monta Ellis on this filter for 40k. Uh, and you know what? I sniped that in five minutes of sitting on this filter. No lie, five minutes. Um, I got a John Stockton for 100k. Wasn't a snipe. I didn't make any MT on him, but he had a shoe. So I think I would maybe make like at least five 10k. Nah, I actually just literally just made even he sold for 110k so i think i might have even lost mt made like 500 mt but this filter is pretty solid you never know what's gonna pop up like i said and um here's another filter that slept on guys pink diamond easter man only thing that is annoying now is that pete maravich is kind of in a way if you have the mt man buy out pete maravich you could just buy out moses malone there was not a lot of Moses malones yesterday but uh, if you want to buy Most Malone, do enable, man. There's only three P Maraviches up here. It might be a little bit different on PS4. But guys, these are the top three snipe filters. For you budget ballers, man, Amethyst Filter is definitely going to be up there. It's definitely going to be up there in value. Trust me when I say this. Amethyst Filter is just going to be good. It's just going to be good. And like I said, another investment. Tommy G, bro. I think he's a pretty damn good investment to me. For 5700 and Amethyst. Oh, I see a 5000 one over there. I'm going to buy that. Yeah, 5000 for this guy, guys. If you remember... Luis Scola is trash, and he was selling for around 9, 10k. He was selling at 4k in the beginning. Now Luis Scola is around 9, 10k. So if you want to wait a little bit, man, this card will rise. It might take a while. It might be after super packs, but you could probably get even more of these cards when super packs are out. And guys, really, that's all we got for the video. If you have any questions, man, I'm trying to go over the market as much as possible. I want to hear what you guys think, what you think is going on, what you think is going to happen. Let me know anything in the comments. I will answer. And yeah, my bills got smacked. Don't even know how freaking DeAndre Hawkins, man. I don't even want to talk about it. Uh, I lost in both fantasy leagues. Yeah, it's just tough. DeAndre Hopkins literally said, Bills, you're trash. Even though Josh Allen played like a GOAT. Did have two picks, but still played pretty good. But yeah, that's all we got for the vid. Shout out to Hopkins. I hate you, but have a good one, guys. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.